Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on ETL tutorial series. In this video, we will see how to install Azure Data Studio for performing SQL related tasks. So these are the steps which we will be performing in this video. First of all, we will log in into our portal, then download the Azure Data Studio, and then we will see the installation process. Here you can see I am on my Azure portal. From here, I will just open up my uh, SQL database, which we created in our previous video. And I will just click on this one. It will open up the database for me. You can see all essential details of this database here. So there are these are the tags which we provided in the previous video. To run your SQL queries inside this database, you can either open up the query editor. I will just provide my password here, which I used to create this uh, SQL server. So I will click on OK. It will allow me to log in into this uh, database. I will try to run a simple query here to see whether it's working or not. I will just uh, write select. Then I will just write get date function which will provide me the date. So I will just run this query and you can see that it's providing me with the current date. So my query is working. You can use this uh, query editor to perform tasks, but it is meant for the simple tasks. So to perform the tasks which are more complex, Microsoft had provided a user-friendly interface which is called Azure Data Studio. So you can use that to perform complex query related tasks for SQL. So to install the desktop application, you need to go back to the overview and just click on this uh, connect with option and just uh, click on Azure Data Studio. I will click on download Azure Data Studio and it will open up a new page for me. So my page is loading. All right. So here it is under this download Azure Data Studio. You can choose your platform. So from here, I will just select user installer, which is a recommended method to install this one. And I'm using 64 bits. So I will just click on this one. If you're using the other operating system, you can choose the appropriate one for you. So it will take some time to download. It depends on your internet connection speed as well. Once it's download, we will be back. All right, as you can see that the download is successfully completed. So now we will see how to install this Azure Data Studio. And then we will see how to set up a connection with your SQL database. I will open my setup. Yeah, it's open. I will accept the license agreement. Click on next. Uh, the location is fine. Click on next. Okay, so next register and create a desktop icon and I will just click on install. So it will take a while to install it for me and then we will start exploring the application. Okay, as our download is completed successfully, I will just launch the Azure Data Studio and I'll just click on finish. All right, our Azure Data Studio has been successfully launched. You can see this interface is really similar to Microsoft Visual Studio. So now what we have to do, we will set up a new connection with a database. So here in this one, I have to provide some details of my uh, server. So I will just go back to my Azure Studio and I will just come here and I will copy this server name. You can see here there is a server name. I will just paste my server name here and authentication type I will choose SQL login. So the user name is actually it was DE underscore admin and the password, I will provide the password for my SQL server, which I used to create this SQL server. So I will click on remember password and it will load the databases for me. It will just authenticate using this username and password and provide all the databases available under this server. So yeah, here's my DE underscore meta which is this one actually. For the encrypt method, I will just uh, keep that to mandatory trust server certificate to as it is false server group default. That's okay. So I'll just click on connect and it will take a while to connect to my SQL server. So let's see. Yeah, it's connected successfully here. You can see that this green icon, it means it's connected to your database and it will open a new pane for you where you can uh, run a new query. You can see your tables and you can see your views and you can do many things which we will be exploring in the later videos. In the next video, we will see how to create tables and relations in the metadata database. 
so so all right that's it for this video i hope you like this one if you like so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel for more amazing videos like that so i will catch you up in the next one till then take care goodbye